In the last video one of you guys asked me about the tire tutorial. So here we go. After watching this video you should be able to model and texture a tire like this one. Also if you want me to explain something leave a comment down below and I will consider making a tutorial on this topic. But for now let's start with the tire. We will need a reference image of the tire, you can find it on the internet. Then add a plane and scale it with the reference image. After that comes the slow process of cutting the plane, the loop cut and matching the cuts with the grooves on the tire. Here is a small time lapse of me cutting these holes, which is not that hard. It just takes time. This leaves us with a strip of a tire, which we can subdivide to make it smoother. And to fix the edges, increase the mean crease. Make the same to all the edges which are more defined. This should give us a nice smooth model. I've added a plane and a rim to help me with the modeling of the tire. Now rotate the tire piece and place it on the ground. Then select the edge and extrude it upwards to create the sidewall of the tire. Make the same on the other side. And that's all for the modeling part. Now let's use an array modifier to extend it. Now let's add an empty and let's place it on the ground. It will be the origin of the bending on the simple deform modifier which we'll use to bend the tire around the rim. Play around with the rotation of the empty and the axis that you want to use for the bend because as you can see it's not that easy to get right. But when you do get it right, you should have a perfect tire. To adjust the size of the tire, just go to the array count. Now apply all the modifiers and you can adjust the tire to fit the rim perfectly. But there is a problem, now our tire has a very high poly count. To decrease it use the decimate modifier. I just got rid of 90% of the vertices without losing any detail. Now it's time to UV unwrap the tire. If your tire comes out as an oval, remember to apply the scale value. With the scale applied, we can now smart UV unwrap it and we have our tire unwrapped. Now let's duplicate it and we will use this to create a normal map. For this go into shading tab, add a new image texture, name it like a tire normal or whatever. Bump up the resolution to something like 4K and then make a normal map. Now you can search the internet for a nice picture of the tire from the side view. Now I will use a very useful site, I will leave the link down in the description. It generates normal maps from an image. You can play around with the values to make the map however you want. When you're finished just click download and there you have it. In an image editor cut out just the sidewall of the tire and place it in the right place on the normal map. Open the normal map inside Blender in the shading tab and connect it into the normal. If the shading looks weird, set the color space to non-color. And that should fix it. And now if we change the base color, we can see that our tire looks pretty good. For the extra realism, I have some imperfections maps which will connect to the roughness. Like you can see there's scratches, stains. This will add the extra detail to our tire. Now let's connect the first one and as you can see it already looks way way better. To combine two maps together use the mix RGB node.
and now play around with the sliders to find something that you like. Let's add another image texture, a new one, this one we'll name Tire AO and AO means ambient occlusion and now I'll explain what it is. First we need to select our tire and bake the ambient occlusion map. Now with our ambient occlusion map baked we can move it aside and add another principal shader, add an image texture and load up a dirt texture and then connect it into the base color. Use the mix shader node to combine the dirt with our tire texture from before and use the ambient occlusion as the factor. To have more control over it use the color ramp. And after a bit of playing around and fine tuning the tire, we got these results. If you have any questions or something was unclear, let me know in the comments and I will answer you. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.